I am Takur. Welcome. Welcome. They've allowed me to come in for a short time because there are questions for me. Those who have questions for me, please ask, and then I can bring in the next person. May I ask? This is Nova? Yes, yes we came just Hello. for you, actually. Oh, my dear one, I just adore you. Yes, you have an okay, important because. question. My question is regarding what the question I uh, have set my questions regarding taking me over there. So I've been taken. Yes. Although you will okay, not remember okay. it right away, but you have uh -huh. gained energy from that area. Beautiful. What the Beautiful. It will has it will have an effect on me, right? It will have an effect on you. A calming effect. Beautiful. Beautiful. I sense it. Take me as much as you can because I'm free and I'm open for all this. Okay? You are okay. you are being watched and taken care of. There are things in your life that you fear. Please do not do that any longer. We are taking care of the situation. Thank you. Well appreciate it. Second question is regarding my hybrid children. Uh, Aditya and Arjun and girls uh, Anamika and Aline, how are they doing? I'm sending them my, my love. They are all doing well. The major interaction between the two of us today is that you have visited them and the other thing is that the calming energy will help you to understand what you have to do next. There are, is a sequence of events that must happen for you so that you may move forward in your creativity and in your future. You are a metaphysical being. You have a great deal to offer. But you must calm down and understand who you perfectly are in this life. Because you are important. And I love you. are so adorable, my goodness. You just calm me down, you know that? Thank you. I, will, I much appreciate it. I'm lost of words. Yes, Leave you me. are. Yes. I like your Love bliss. You take care I like your bliss, and I like the, the way that you do get excited. But, for to, <sighs> but it's necessary for this energy, especially the new energy, to come to you in a calm way that you can bring it in and let it soak through your whole being. If you're too excited and energetic, it will deflect some of it, and I do not want that to happen. Thank you. Thank you for this note. Well appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I love you all. Take care of yourself. I love you too. And that goes for many of you out there. The new energies, just be calm and accept them, because that is the best way to bring them in. If you're too up or too down, you will miss the greatest portion of them because they are in the middle, they are in the life force, they are in the, the balance and the grounding of energies around the world. Of course, if you're very up, that is better than being very down, because they will, they will still be able to work. But if you are calm, relaxed, and in a prayerful state, or in a state that is accepted, they will therefore be more powerful and you will be able to accept them and bring them into your nature better. That is my message for you. There is much Excellent. bliss still Turf. happening and much depression. There is many things on both sides of the scale happening this month. It would appear that either you're in a great frame of mind or you are not. Try to b balance out. That is what they want, is you to be polarized. But you want the energies to be natural and balanced and grounded. Mother Earth is going through this with you. And as you ground yourself to Mother Earth, you are giving your energies to her. She is giving her energies to you. And you can lift up through the fourth dimension and still be balanced and grounded. Thank you, Takura. You understand that. 
Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. It is very important at this time that you stay this way, for the energies will do you much better good this way. Thank you so much, Dicker. Thank you so much, Dicker. You were, you are welcome. So, um, may I talk to Raymond for okay. a second? I'm sorry, Sean. For a second? I'm sorry, Sean. Raymond. So, Raymond, there's Raymond. a little feedback coming. So can you turn right. down the speakers? So can you turn down the speakers? All right. Continue. Thank you, Dicker. Go ahead, Sean. Hold on. Sean. One moment. Um, I have a question. I had heard or watched a video from Prime Creator that there's in September we're going to be coming to a new Earth and that the present Earth is going to turn into a star. Is that true? In some ways, the energy will be more star-like on the Earth because the energy of the Earth will be emitting and not... Hmm. the gra You see, Earth is noted for its gravity, its pull. It's bringing things down to it. But now the energy that is coming to Earth will be pushing also out. It will be more of a balance what I was talking about. There will be more of a balance between what is going out and what is coming in, and that is more star-like, because stars emit their energy. They do not pull their energy. They, of course, have a gravitational field, but it is moving out away from them. They are emitting their enlightenment, so to speak, whereas the Earth was, the gravity was pulling things into it, and that is not always a good thing to have when you're always just pooling. Now there will be a greater balance between Mother Earth and the universe, so to speak. So yes, in that sense, they, it will be a sun. It will be glowing in a greater way. And I had heard that the ones that are ready are going to a new DNA Earth it will be like on our own. The new DNA, this is part of what I was talking about, the balance. The new DNA is a greater balance, a greater understanding of who you are. That telepathy is part of who you are. And in that telepathy, moderation is important because you will be able to understand each other the energy of each other better. If you are polarized and you meet someone, you will not be able to understand what they are feeling. But if you are balanced, you will be able to interact together in the, in the telepathy that is coming. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. That is why I'm talking about a greater balance. So that is a good question. And it tells, lets me tell about the balance even in a greater way. Okay. So that is does that answer your yes, question? Yes, it does. So I, I am looking for you to all be in that meditative balance because the energy is important. I must speak about that as much and get that across to as many people as possible. Also, the blood moon is the strongest and most powerful blood moon that the earth has seen in centuries. Centuries. Because of the entering of the age of Aquarius because of Rosh Hashanah, the eclipse, the blood moon, all the energies that are moving and with the age of Aquarius are new energies for Mother Earth and that is the sun-like energies that you are talking about and the glowing of the Earth will become greater because when emitting energies you see the, the, the earth will look like a sun from other places in the, in the solar system. But this new earth, the, the dark ones or the negative energies won't be able to survive on it, right? Is that kind of Not true. Yeah. The dark energies will be able to survive on it because they have free will. And if they are able to, if they are strong enough to, they will survive. During this free will, they will not be happy. And that's why the negativity will be stronger, because they'll be agitated and brought back. But there will be some entities of darkness that will leave. I told you that many are moving away. Mm -hmm. Many are moving away, but those that are very strong will want to keep control of what they have. Okay. 
they want to control what they have and so you will see them fighting stronger in a, a negative way but they will not leave because they have free will too and they are not going to be defeated that is they are stubborn and but the weaker of the the negativities will move away they just can't deal with it so would it be helpful if we just send them love then the ones that are you not, that not. is the perfect thing to do okay. that is the perfect thing okay. to do now is I know that you understand what I'm saying about the balance and about the energies what what is happening here today is very important and I know that you sense that the the energies have already are ramping up they're already started they're already in action they're already starting to flow it's like they're they're coming they're they'll come into their fullness on the blood moon and also the change the change of energy from Tibetan to Peruvian energy is already starting but that's from the 19th to the 27th nine and one is ten is that the beginning then there's nine days in between and 27 is a nine and that is a finishing date and that is the blood moon do you think that's a coincidence no absolutely not and today today is the 19th I do realize that and this is the beginning of the energy exchange between that pull at those areas on the earth and you will feel that energy getting stronger each day for the next nine days and then we'll have the blood moon which is a very powerful blood moon on that day the energies will increase and the age of Aquarius will begin at least that's what you call it And with the age of Aquarius, Aquarius is an air sign, and so energy in the air and a water bearer, energy in the water, you will see that the dolphins and the whales will become more active and more communicative. Scientists will be bedazzled by what they are learning from them at this time because they are a collector of light that hold light onto the planet and bring light communications across the ocean as you are connected one to another the dolphins and whales will bring that connection to other lands easily they bring in light from other areas of the universe as well from the Andromeda and Pleiadian whale and dolphin alliance and they do have a ship within your space and it is working it is a very large ship as you know filled with water but they are very different colors and they wear clothing to meet with other delegates that can understand them so if you have a dream or a vision of a dolphin or a whale that has different colors on it that is their clothing they do paint themselves with different colors as to be socially accepted by other species as not to appear to be naked and to be intelligent and to give them a protocol that is acceptable for them they are very high intelligence their language is trinary with every sound emittance comes different layers of tonality and in this layers of tonality you will find sentences not just one word and that is why they were never to be understood until now this knowledge will come forth that they are speaking many words with one sound and that sound mutates and brings in exactly what words they need to be spoken because they speak it in a way that they know how it will mutate inside the water and it will actually continue out 
the words will continue into the, the sentence that they need to say or paragraph. So one emittance of sound is not just one word. It is many, many. Is Thank there any more questions? Yes, Sean is next. Hello, Tukar. I just want to um, really have a question. I just want to say something more for you. Wonderful. Thank you. I love you. I love you all. Your energy here today is beautiful. Yeah. Who's next, Dan? Go ahead, Carl. Yes, hello, Tukar. <clears throat> yeah. I wanted to ask about my if you didn't um how is that coming? I'm not sure if it happened or not. You are breaking up and I am not understanding what you're saying. I wanted to ask about my telepathic infusion that we discussed in our session. Yeah. I'm not sure if your telepathic in, your telepathic infusion is complete. Also, when you go to the colonies, you need not even speak. Your psychic ability is now intact on the fourth dimension. It is not intact on the third dimension because that is not necessary at this time. There are no others to use it with completely and purely. So, But when you come to the fourth dimension, there are many who can benefit from it because there are many who only speak in psychic languages and do not use voices at all. But you can hear their voice within your head because that's what they choose. Otherwise, some of them speak algorithm and mathematics to you, which can be broken into words. By the way, Shiny Sean, has, we have broken your binary code. I will speak to you about that, but I just, it just crossed my mind. It was not from a race that was close by but in from two galaxies from here that said it will be as it should be with you and that is their like that is what it translated to you and it was talking about your physiology and they are saying it is as it shall be with you and I'm not sure exactly what that means to you but they said you would understand did I Finish answering your question. I'm sorry, my mind was. Uh, Sean's, Sean's yeah. dropped out of the room for now, so he will he hear it on YouTube. It's okay. Um, I actually had one more question. Uh, you weeks ago, I woke up and I felt a person that was laying on me, and I, I attempted to speak to them, but they uh, vanished. Uh, was that? An alien person. Yes. Um, you felt someone laying on top of you. Is that what you said? Yes. yes. It was the impression of Delilah. She sent something to you. She could not be with you in, in phys physicality, but she sent a hologram to lay on top of you to comfort you. Yeah. Well, I wanted to say that. thank you for that. Um, I could tell you more, but I do not think that that is necessary. Um, you know what was happening. I would like more information on that uh, later on in private. Yes. Pardon me? So I would like to... Uh, ask everyone to please limit your questions to two. We have a lot of questions in the queue that everyone would like to ask. So please be respectful for everyone else's need for information. Yes, Thank you so much. I will much. be leaving shortly because someone else is coming. Hello, to Carlos. So if there's any more questions specifically for me, please ask. Hi, to Carlos. Did I hear something? Hello, this is Neil. 
Neil, hello. Yes, hello, how are you? I am very well, thank you. It is good to speak with you. Yes, it's good to speak with you also. I have a question about this uh, wolf species that we've connected with. The wolf species, yes. Yes, can you tell me what the name of the wolf species is, please? They use a couple different names, but it translates to lupine. Lupine. And do they have a language that we can like, that we could actually speak? They have a language, but they are not ready to speak it to you yet. Right, okay. Okay, the last question but is... They do want to speak to you. But they are first listening to see what things you know already. Yeah, okay. Do you okay, understand so, that? Yes. They also know who you are in the galaxy because you all work there. Yeah. The Council of Wonders is in their eyesight and will be acknowledged by them in a greater way in the future. Perfect. Okay, uh, you know the entity, Mr. Fingers, that we've been connecting with also? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I've got a question yes. about Mr. Fingers. What other abilities does Mr. Fingers have besides absorbing negative energy? Because I'm using them to clean my chakras, but I know he's got other abilities. Can you? He's the one that soaks in the negative energy and destroys it. Is that correct? Yes, he's very dark looking, but he's actually very positive. He's positive and negative. He's one of the gyroscopes of the universe. Do you understand what I say, mean what I say that? He can, he balances on good and evil at the same time, if you want to call it positive and negativity. He cannot survive without a combination of both. And there are those beings that are like this. And so he will take the negative energy as food and turn it into positivity for his movement in the universe. But he cannot survive without it. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yes, uh, that's how I've been using them. Do not them, be frightened. Do not be frightened if he shows a negative side occasionally. It's just indigestion. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so is there other abilities that he has that I'm unaware of? I didn't understand the question. Um, is there any other abilities that he has which I am unaware of? I mean, now I'm using them to clean yes. my chakras, but... Yes, there is some things that you are not aware of. Because when he cleanses the negative energy, he is also drawing more an, an energy into him. He is taking the negative energies out of each, each entity that he comes to. But with that a different negative energy comes into you because that is what it's replaced with so that he will not starve. Now, in order to not be have that replaced by negative energy, when you talk to this entity, you must protect yourself and, and he will not be able to draw on your negative energy unless you want him to. But if you protect yourself, he will not be able to do that. However, in, in this situation, I do not see anything that m malevolent coming through. Okay, that's perfect. He is okay, an interesting you. character, like none other that I know. Yes. Yes, he is very interesting. Okay, I will leave it at that. Thank he you very much. He is like on the Harry Potter, the the beings that the mentor. Eat. Yeah. Yeah. He yes. eats negativity though. He eats it as a that is his choice of food. 
dark energy, the dark energy and dark matter and dark negativity of the soul. It's like different kinds of food, but it's all in the dark area, and he cleanses it all. Beautiful. Dan, do you have a question next? Yeah, I have a question from Michelle. As soon as I get back to it here. She would like to know about an update on her DNA situation if both of them were activated and if anything special should be done and also if a higher level uh, being has a message for her as question number one. Do not worry about doing anything for your activations. They are all taken care of. Just resonate with them. They will all be taken care of by us. There is nothing that you have to do. Just accept them and trust that they are doing the right thing. We are monitoring all hybridizations and all sorts of acknowledgments, and we are checking to make sure that they are in all in a positive manner, and there is no outcome that is negative from them. No bad side effects. Also, a message for you is that you just recently had a realization that the things that you do are are much more important than you ever believed possible. Your artwork, your thought processes toward it are being guided. So do just let them be as they are. You are part of a greater network. Okay. That is the best word I can use for it. She'd also like to know if there's a message for her daughter, Brooke. Brooke. Amazing. Quite bright and unique. She has many gifts. Brooke, you must understand that you can take all your energy and make it positive and be a figure of great admiration. <laughs> I will speak to you more about that later. But you already are admired. But you do not even realize it. Hey, Tucker. Oh, thank you. Go ahead, Trevor. Oh, thank you. Hey, Tucker. Much love. How are you? How are you? I am absolutely wonderful. It's so Thank nice you to see you for coming. <laughs> um, I will try to do as, as fast as I can. First of all, I've been in the colonies on the 12th, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct. And I came back with a very positive and wonderful feeling that something big has happened or is going to happen. Do you know why? Because it's true. Why okay. would you feel that something wonderful is going to happen and then not have something wonderful happen? Yes, there are things happening to you. You see, all the hybridizations are now coming together in a beautiful way within your body. They're starting to entangle with one another in a way that is not like anybody else on the earth. And your Amok, your brother, is there with you. And Remulak, your father, is there with you. And it will be a great blissful time after the blood moon because you are taking on energies that will help Mother Earth and help yourself to be more of who you are to be. Mm. <laughs> but you That's are wonderful. right now very balanced. You are very, very balanced at this moment. You are very grounded, and you are very happy. And your mother. Mm. Your mother is coming more towards your direction now. She is seeing the light within you and Nivi. She is understanding who you are. Hmm. You <laughs> I would tell her. Yes. yes. And also, on the 22... A couple of days yeah. from now, I'm going to have a um, session with Jim. I would like to uh, see you and speak with him. 
You would like to speak with who? With you. you with ah, you on my that meeting. That is not a problem. On the that is the day that... That is the day that Will and Brian leave for Mount Shasta. A very strong day indeed. Ah, <laughs> great. So I will see you then. Thank you so much and much love to you. Thank you for everything that much you Much love. And I, I did speak to your friend Ray. Ah, yeah. <laughs> How was it? Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Kia kata, moshitia randogua, kokariata. There is someone else is coming. Is there more questions for me? I feel that there are many. There are so many we don't have time to get to them. Um, but you, uh, your responsibilities take priority. We can ask questions to you later. There is one greater than I coming. That would like to speak as well. Thank you, Tukur. Thank, Thank you, Tukur. Much to you. And remember, stay in balance. Meditate as much as you can within these nine days. Ah, it's wonderful. I love you all. And be well. Much love, Tukur. Much love to you. Much love to you. Much Namaste. Love.